What's up, guys? We are back here fighting Felix1993. Once again, hopefully the internet connection has gotten better. So this is the war hero for the last powered or no Insta Archer war season. So we are gonna go in here. We've been messing around with the monk here. Uh, we are a little bit stronger than him. So 3,300 trophies against around a 3,900 trophy player. Um, we're not gonna be needing, you know, too much strategy here. But I'm going to give you a rundown of what we got going on. There is a new elite boost going on for this season. These blockades have spawn mummies. But the, sadly, you can see right there, the blockade goes down really quick. And then the mummy that I got spawned goes down really quick as well. It looks like he did take some advice on adding a skull tower over there, I believe. I don't remember that being there last time. So you can see the skull tower actually brings some damage over uh, hits our troops right there causes some more damage so if you upgrade that skull tower it's going to do a lot more damage it's going to be able to take down a lot more troops sword ring comes over there finishes that off so upgrading that skull tower or adding another skull tower to that spot right next to it is a great idea that's a, uh the the pretty much the counter to this night spam strategy that we're using is having those skull towers in that hard to reach spots and then over here as well so the skull towers once again on that side right there if we did get past the first time would be very very effective Let's see his wave troops are able to take care of a lot of our reinforcements if you have a fireball tower up in this position here, you might want to try and increase its range just a little bit so it can uh, reach a little bit further. And the same thing in the corner one over here, you might want to try and increase the range a little bit as well. So you can do that by forging them up. Over here, a really good position for the towers during the war season. Makes it hard to get 100% on the bases. You can see we have to wait over here for our Sonic Blast once again. We can scream to bring the troops over to draw some more time. Overall, a nice base here. Upgrades on the Skull Towers would help dramatically. And the only thing that I think could possibly change is, so obviously uh, we have this setup. The only spot that I see that towers potentially could be in a bad position is that one massive corner over here. We have six or so towers all clumped up in a, a nice corner. That's a lot of DPS, but one Sonic Blast will be able to go through and blow up all those towers. I'm not a big fan of having that all big clumped up like that. So spreading that out slightly, because if they get up to that position, most likely they're going to be a little bit you know, stronger. So they're going to be able to easily wipe down. So here it is. So we have three, four, five. Five towers and some spikes right there that we all take down with one Sonic Blast. I don't like having multiple snake towers right there. So taking a snake tower out there, putting a skull tower down over here. Yeah, so putting another skull tower right here. Removing one of those snake towers. Kind of reconfiguring that so it's not as tower heavy there, I think, would be a good idea. I'm also a big fan of the snake towers on the side of the towers like you have right here. Really, really big fan of this. So you can see I don't have enough life to go up and attack... And that's part of the reason why I like towers at the castle gate there. Because see, we almost died with 
you know, a sliver of HP right there. And if we would have attempted to go after the Snake Tower, we would have died. So the Castle Gate is so powerful. So, so we missed something right there. We didn't get 100%. And those are some tips that I would do there, Felix. Congratulations. It looks like you have a really close race coming up here in this war season. If you are attempting to become the, the war hero for a two-time, the back-to-back -back champion here. We'll look at the standings. Oops, wrong one. So we got Milan right on your tail right there. And then RK Destiny. And hey, well, it's me, only 500 skulls away. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like, share, subscribe button to the channel. Share the video, like the video. Let's go. Let's play the Let's Play series. Look at the new series coming out very, very soon. It's going to have a free to play account, brand new starting, seeing what has changed in Royal Revolt 2. Uh, a lot has actually changed. There may be some great tips and tricks for new players. Or if you are starting out there, thanks for watching in.